My name is Arman. I am a student in a UCLA programming course, C++ programming. Uh, for this course, uh, we had an assignment to create a game using C++ and Qt programming languages using uh, Qt Creator. And this is my game. Let's start it up. Close that. Um, so this is the main menu. You have the title, character selection, difficulty selection, hit instructions, and uh, all the necessary instructions for you to play this game will pop up. Um, you can read it, but for those of you who'd rather listen, uh, there are two waves of enemies that you have to destroy uh, as they're trying to destroy you. You move around and dodge the enemy's shots using the arrow keys. You use the space bar to shoot. You can only shoot while you're moving. You hit space while standing for a shield. Uh, you have a blue orb and an orange orb uh, next to your character that you select. As you're playing, that follows you as you're moving. Um, if there's a blue orb, that means your shot is ready. If there's an orange orb, that means your shield is ready. And then every now and then there are power-ups that spawn. One gives you super speed, and the other one... Uh, takes away the cooldown completely from your shot so you can shoot as many times as you want instead of every few seconds. Um, okay, I'm going to pick this character and the hardest difficulty, start the battle. Uh, here's my shield. I cannot get out of these boundaries. Right, so I have to shoot at them to destroy them. Use my shield to deflect. There are the power ups. Okay, didn't get it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of distracted, so I can't really talk about the mechanics of the game that much. But uh, this, I'm just trying to demo how it works. Oh, I should show you what happens when I... Oh, here. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up super speed. Um, anyways, when I die, a tombstone pops up um, in the place that I did die, in case you want to know uh, where you died. Um, and then you lose all caps, and uh, you have the option to try again, change the options, or quit the entire game. Um, so let's go change options. Now I want to play this character, and I'll take it to the easiest. And in easy mode, there's only two sides that have these monsters. In medium mode, there's three sides, and the hard mode, which I just did, there's four sides. So I'm going to try to beat the game here, so I can show you the end. That'll be it. Uh, super speed and burst. So now I can shoot as many times as I want. This might be overpowered, but uh, I just wanted to add some new features before I um, completed the game. I mean, I can still change it, but um, I had a deadline for the assignment. Anyways, oh, so the beams don't kill me now because the game's over and I don't want the tombstone to pop up when you win. Um, you're free to move around and get the power up still if you want to. But anyways, when you win, there's a special picture of your character it says you win and then you have the option to close both well I mean you either close it using via one button or you go here and hit the X's for both um, I have I will be posting the code up onto my github account uh, and I'll put the link to my account github account uh, in the box info box below the video thanks for watching